All right, it's Friday. You know what that means. It's drama day five. And day five is testing day. Okay, not really testing day, but it is a day where we're going to test what you've learned about drama. And so if you move to slide 23, you will see that I have uploaded a new or linked to a new story. It's called The Power of Wow. And when you click on this link, it will take you to a new story in the Journeys textbook that you don't have but is readily available online. All right, so it's called The Power of Wow. It's a great story about people raising money for a good cause. All right. So as you read this and you learn more about the power of wow, you'll notice at the very beginning that it has more than one act, more than one act. So this is kind of new, but I think we know how to get through this. So we'll read through the act, act one, and then we'll move through act two. It's a bit longer than the ones that we've read before, but I think you'll do just, just fine. All right, so and as you finish reading this particular play, you're going to move on to the next or following slides. And this, there's four more slides after that, and each one has two or one question that we'll, I'll use as kind of a, did you really get what we were talking about and, and learn what you needed to learn as we were going over drama or dramatic literature, okay? Now, my job is to make sure that you learn this stuff. And so if you have questions, go on to the comments section uh, for this assignment and ask your questions. I can help you with that, okay? I might even uh, download some videos to help you, uh, assist you with that. I want to make sure that you're successful. If you have trouble with any of this, if you're struggling with any of it, just let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. I'm gonna read through each of the questions to make sure that you know what it's asking. Question one says, write down one of the stage directions in scene one and explain why the playwright included it. Well, we've done this twice already, so you should be able to do this really well. Number two, what is the purpose of the setting change in scene two? Again, you've had a question like this before. Why did they change it? Question three, describe two char character traits of Ileana and include text evidence that supports it. Hey, that sounds like something that we've done in our, our reading, uh, when we're reading our, our fiction books. So this shouldn't be anything new either. Number four, what is the turning point of the story? A turning point is where the story was going one way and then it er, turns in another direction. So where is that turning point? And explain how you know that that's the turning point. Question five, draw a conclusion about how wow is making the community a better place to live. Drawing a con conclusion means come up with a theory, come up with an uh, idea, a reason why you think they're making the community a better place to live and explain what your reasoning is. Number six, how can a character's actions inspire others to do good or us to do good things? It's a really good question. It sounds like something that we should learn from, so give me your best answer there. And the final question, how do the characters' actions reveal the theme of the play, right? What are the actions that happen in the story that are done by the actors that show me what this story, this play, why this play was really written? What was the theme? And how did those actions reveal that theme? All right, I think you're going to do great with this. Remember... We're in this together. I know you're at home. Ask your parents questions if you need to. Ask your teachers online if you need to. Ask your classmates online if you need to. We're all here to help. We're all trying to learn. And drama is a really fun form of literature that we don't always get to read. So have fun with this. Bye-bye.